Big Run Production. What's poppin', y'all? Once again, y'all is on the set and tuned in to another edition of No Chill, No Filter TV. It's your boy MC Ron Ski, the OG. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you as usual. The man sitting next to me is very well known. Don't need no introduction, but I'll let him introduce himself. What's poppin'? Y'all, it's the man, the myth, the legend. Y'all already know me, man. Buck, I'm Thomas Brown Fallon, man. R.I.P. Jam, it's a blessing. What it do, what it do. Man, you Don't already chill, know what's happening. Had to yes, come sir. slide through on the big homie. You know, chop it up and taste. That's what's happening, that's what's happening. Glad you're here. For sure, likewise. Man, for sure. So, in any event, man, we just gonna hop right on into it, man. Let's talk about the name, Buck. I got kind of confused because I saw a Buck and then when I clicked on to the actual footage, it was another guy. I think it was uh, Maserati. Maserati Buck. Now, is y'all affiliated or? Um, nah, uh, I, but uh, shout out to Maserati Buck. I'm obsessed with the kid. Um, he, he jumped on the scene about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, and at first my name on Facebook was Daddy Don't Care. Okay. His name was Don't Care Buck. So everybody like, <laughs> once he jumped on the Cypher page, right. everybody like, who the fuck is dude? So they flamed him. Okay. Whole little post, got his ass. Like, you the fake Buck, that other, this and that, who you would. <laughs> and so he like, nigga, my name been Buck. And it's plenty Bucks in Milwaukee. You know what I'm okay. saying? It's a lot of niggas named Buck. But I got my name kind of off a joke. You know, I went to Vincent. I used to clown around in school and shit. I had a big ass afro <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, this one chick, she was like, yo, you look like Buckweed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't see the resemblance, but. <laughs> you was feel this, me? Was this, was this in the summer when, when, when us dark skinned dudes turned purple? Man, it was around that time, but you yeah. know, I'm already kind of midnight without that motherfucker. Exactly. You, know what I'm exactly. you feel me? I feel you. Uh, but. <laughs> Right, yeah, so she called me Buckwheat and I, I ran with it. Okay. You know, because I'm, I'm a humorous dude. I like to have fun, tell you know, do jokes and all that. You know, I like to have a good time. I got a good sense of humor. Right. So I ran with it. And then, you know, over time in school, it got shorter to just Buck. People just start shortening it down to Buck. Okay. And then, shit, I just ran with it. Cool, cool. Yeah, That's I just ran with it. That's just how I got it. My, shit, my mama called me Buck. You know what cool, I'm saying? Cool, so, cool. So have you battled Maserati or uh, in, the, in the ring like that? We or? talked about it, for, about the name, battling for the name. Just, a, you know, a nice idea. Shit, it's two QPs. Why can't be two Bucks in the same battle world or whatever? But... I think that'd actually do some numbers, man. It, for y'all, for just to be on that, you know what I'm saying, platform to say, like, hey, we battling for this name. Facts. But I he, I, would... hey, I was, hey, he not ready, man. He not really? ready, man. He not ready. He might as well just give me the name right now. We had so many talks about uh, this. You know that, Buck. You know we did. You not ready. He said he got to, and you know, he, he'll say this himself. He said he had to really get up and, you know, get his feet wet a little bit more. Okay. And then we can do it. And then we can. So, y'all okay. might see it like 2018 or something. I smell a Maserati Buck vlog coming on. Yeah. Okay. In any event, man, that's cool. You got any music, man, that's out, coming out, that you're working on or who you working um, with? I got some I got some music I've been working on um, for like a year and a half. Shout out to my man, Bats. Um, we, we've been working on a little project, it ain't complete yet, uh, some things transpired in his life, you know, right, with his right, family, right. and things like that, and, uh, you know, some things going on in my life at the same time, but, so we put a pause on that, but, Body Gang Mixtape is dropping pretty soon, okay, we in the lab with it already, we working on that, we cooking it up, people been asking for it, okay, so, Got that really, got that popping. So, uh, yeah, on the music side, I'm focused on that right now. Cool. I'm putting kind of my little project on the side. It was cool. Well, you do know that um, your, your last opponent's vlog just dropped today. Oh, oh, word. Face? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to yeah, G-Face, yeah. man. Shout out to G-Face, yeah. my body gang member, <laughs> my brother, man. Shout out to Face. Yeah. Hey, yeah, and yeah. I, I have an admission to make, man. Um... I did very, very, very first see it for the very first time. What's today? Thursday. I want to say maybe Tuesday. Word. And um, I was very impressed by both of y'all. I mean, yeah. you know, I, once again, man, I've already said that you guys are very intellectual, man. Y'all some smart dudes to just to come up with the wordplay that y'all come up with. Word. You know what I'm saying? And you was like, you know, November. 
2014. Boom, bam, bam. You know, right, I'm right. like, okay, he's he breaking it down, and then you kind of went off into something else. And I mean, you kept me interested, and you kept the whole crowd going. You know, right. I was actually there for that. Oh yeah, word, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah. in the crowd for that, but I kind of forgot. But when I saw the footage, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's right. I forgot dude was in there cooking. Uh, yeah, crowded. <laughs> you know, live and cam is, is in battle rap is two different perspectives. Right, right. People don't understand that. If you can be there live and see something, you can be on, you can watch it on cam, right, and listen, be like, oh, I didn't see that. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's, I, yeah. Man, I, um, my honest opinion, I gave it to G-Face already in the building when we was there. I gave it to him 2-1. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, everybody was saying it was a dope battle. Yeah, for you know sure. For sure. Battle. So, yeah, yeah, both of y'all, y'all were swinging. Niggas. Yeah, for sure, y'all were swinging. Facts. You know, I mean, I, I, I definitely I definitely appreciate a good show, and y'all definitely put one on that night. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I definitely appreciate that. And it's just so it's just so coincidental that I got you on here right after I drop here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then I saw it, like I said, I had, it, I to it totally slipped my mind. But when I saw the footage, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right, okay. So I definitely had to hurry up and, you know what I'm saying, get you in the chair, you know what word, I'm saying? So, word. But, yeah, that's that's cool, though. So, I mean, do you, so you don't have any music, like, currently circulating? Uh, nah, I don't. You know, I've been rapping forever, man. I've been, you know, I've been making a little noise. Um, years ago, uh, shout out to my brothers Looney and Get It On Tone. Mm -hmm. uh, back in 2009, 2010, we used to do like open mics, a lot of little shows. Live on North, if any of y'all remember, Live on North used to crown. Okay. We used to get it in. Dude, we, we had music and it was circulating and all that. Then, you know, we stopped or whatever. You know, life shit getting away. Right, right. People, you know, change in different lanes. Not saying they change or nothing, but you know, people, mm -hmm. we grow. But yeah, so we put a hold on that. That's why I jumped in the battle rap scene. Okay. I was all I've been battling forever. You know, back when before this shit became famous. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Sure. So right now I ain't got no, nah, no really no music circulating. I got a video that I dropped last year. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, it's called Sparks, I Got It. Yeah, yeah. Sparks did that joint shot to Sparks, and sure. we we did a little, we did a little nice little number on. He got some nice little response, but uh, everybody been waiting on me to make music, man. When I'm in the streets. They be, yo, where the music at? Right, where the right. music, where the, we see the battles, we keep cooking, we need some music from you. So I'm like, oh, okay, this year on until probably like earlier next year, it, it'll be something, I'm gonna put something out. Cool. I cool. just want it to be, it gotta be right, cause I'm different, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do the regular, for all the shit that everybody else trying to do. Right. You're I try not to go in a different lane, you know right. what I mean? And, and it's I don't supposed to sound like nothing. Right, and it's supposed to be something about you that stands out from everybody else. So long as you, long as you stay on that, long as you stay on that that path, man, you'll be okay. I feel. Word. So you know, moving on, man. Um, so now, and I done already, I done already talked to Pen Gang. You know what I'm saying? I talked to a couple of Body Gang members, of course. You know what I'm saying? G Faces, Body Gang. You know what I'm saying? You Body Gang. Um, what what's what's going on with y'all and Pen Gang, man? Cause this seems like, boy, y'all. Well, y'all Crips and Bloods right now, uh, man. man. What's, what's yeah, really going yeah. on, man? You, you know what's crazy? Um, body, uh, well, a little quick, little long story short. Body Gang came around. You know, uh, uh, Killer B started it. Him and Steezy, actually, people don't know that. And and y'all hear that story, more of that story on the um, Overgrind show with Body Gang. We did an Overgrind show with Sparks. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll be dropping on the wind. Okay. But, he, uh, he explained how it got started and, you know, basically Killer and Stevie started Body Gang, the name, the whole concept of it, and people took it as a joke. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 1,000. I even took it as a joke before I even joined. I'm like, who are these niggas, man? Fuck these niggas. At the time, <laughs> at the, like facts, at the, and they'll right. tell it, because we used to be, it was competitive, though. It wasn't right, ever right. disrespect. Right, it, was, sure. it was competitive, because at the time, that's when the car, everybody jumped on the cartel ship, and it was a go hard and go home, little confusion and all right, that, right. little riff raff. So I was like, yo, I ain't with nobody, no league. You know, I don't rep no league, I'm just me, one man army. So I used to come at them niggas next, and, um, you uh, know, uh, now, now it wasn't no cruise. Well, no battle cruise in right. Milwaukee at the time. Right. Body gang was coming up. People took it as a joke. Whoop de whoop. I went out of state with them brothers. We went to uh, Peoria. Okay. They was on the card. I was on the card, and I rode with them. First time riding with them and really jamming, jamming with them. Cool niggas. We shut it down in Peoria, and after that. You know, I made a little joke like, man, I should join Body Gang. I'm like, I'm fucking with them niggas, man. I'm rocking. I put it on the post. Right. Like, I rock with them niggas, bro. They they really, because it, it was 1,000. 
And uh, me and Show, we was talking in the inbox because I was ready to give up this battle shit. I said, fuck it, who cares? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I did my thing, whatever, it don't matter. Boom. They like, bro, won't you join Body Gang? I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. And, and now we there. But for us, Ping Gang, fast forward, <laughs> then here come the Ping Gangs, and right. here come the such and such. And I just I just think it's, it's, um, it's going to happen because Gang Wars is a, is a series now. Okay. We're making this a series. Cool. Um, so it's only right to have the two gangs in Milwaukee clash with each other. But I don't think you brothers ready. With all due respect, you know, I, definitely shots. I mean, <laughs> I fucks with all, I fucks with them niggas. Kooji, my brother, Chris, uh, uh, Bankhead. Not saying that niggas won't put up a fight. No, I'm not saying that. But, you know, um, without body gang, there will be no pin gang. Let's just keep that funky, and I'm just keeping it real. And I've been seeing that shit on the uh, on the on the um, the cipher page and shit. How people like, yo, niggas disrespecting our name and woofy this and that. Let's keep everything 1,000. Put it on the table, man. If there was no body gang, there will be no pin gang. Pin gang came from the idea of a body gang, and that's just facts. You know. So we. Uh, my nigga G Face already put it out there on the post. You niggas won't smoke. Let's go. The next game wars. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're gonna show y'all who the real gang. Who's the number one gang in this in the city, possibly in the in the uh fucking Midwest. Because let me say let me say this before y'all jump out y'all seats and wanna throw your phones and shit. <laughs> let me just say why. Let me say why. I ain't here for me. Facts. <laughs> let me say why. Nobody has done what we done yet in in first our region. Right. Milwaukee, Chicago, Indiana, Kansas City, Iowa, Minnesota, all them, that little section right there, that midsection, we put on, we had a whole event battling each other. Right. You had you seen writers block go against it go against each other, but not a whole card. Right. You seen other crews do that, but not a whole card, the entire card, and we ain't holding nothing back. Straight bars, you know, we ain't gonna get into them personal because we family. Sure. But it was all about bars, and that's what people respect. So, with that being said, Pin Gang, what y'all wanna do, man? I mean, it, all bullshit to the side. We already got the matchups ready. We already did the matchups. But well, me, me and the guys, we did the matchups already. Ooh. We put them out there. What y'all wanna do? We waiting on y'all. Next Gang Wars, Gang Wars Two, Pin Gang versus Body Gang. Uh, Chris Kane. Um, Answer right here. I mean, cause yo yo vlog dropping, so yeah, they gon' they gonna hear exa everything you saying too. So it, it's I mean, uh, let, let's be I'm, honest. I'm hearing the answer right here. So let's you, you got honest. your answer. It's already a yeah. Niggas um, already said a go. Yeah. Hey, if the green light is it's on. We right. waiting on y'all. This is what I'm telling y'all. Body gang or nobody gang. Y'all niggas better get in tune. Y'all see what y'all see what's going on right now, man. We got blowback in the city. We got ice back circulating. We got we got GE. We got we got this shit. We got the talent. We got the manpower. We got the man. Listen, y'all better get on board. And right now, body gang is in the head of this shit right now. We leading this shit right now. Facts. And if you disagree, you ain't a hater. That's just your opinion. Okay, okay, I like the way you said that. All right, okay, now, you know, we're going to wrap that section up. I'm hoping everybody got what they needed to get from my man Buck, you know what I'm saying? It was all good. So now, we're going to move on to the no chill, no filter question Word. of the day. Are you ready? I'm definitely ready. And it's, it's actually a right up your alley, seeing as how you had did your thing today at your, with, your, with your babies. Word. Um, education, man. What do you think about the education system, man? And what direction you think it's going? Do you think it's working or you think it's not? Um, honestly, it hasn't worked for years, for right. decades. Okay. Um, it's designed to keep our community on a certain educational level. Right. Facts. They took out art. They took out music. They took out band class. They took out a lot of funding from our schools, NPS, right? So it's important, but now these kids are more are, are more conscious of what's going on. They like, you motherfuckers ain't shit. Y'all ain't right. <laughs> Y'all don't give a shit about us. So you yeah. know what? Fuck your school, fuck your books. Right. I'm going over here yeah. where I'm going to get this certain knowledge to survive right. out here because y'all not trying to, man, listen, 
Yeah. I, you know, um, I, I can actually, I can actually concur with that because I actually worked at um, the school. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's right there on Titania and Locust. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I, I mm-hmm. worked at that school. Okay, uh, Locust Street or I, I whatever forget, the name. I forget. Yeah, that um, Hopkins is it. Not Hopkins, is it? Hopkins Tatooine Low is, uh, is... I forget the name. Yeah, what? Yeah. In any event, you know, I worked at that school, and I did see um, it, it wasn't really about the kids being stupid. It was about the teachers being a lot like... Some of them was definitely on top of their thing, but, but, but you had those that were just really not concerned. You know what I mean? When Me, myself, when I was young, man, it was like, you either going to do this or you're not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what's going to happen is you are a child, so you going to learn this. You're not going to back talk me. You're not going to talk crazy to me. Yeah. And for real, for real, I'll smack you, and then I'll call your parents and let you let them know I smacked you. <laughs> you know. And, and, but see, back then, the parents would come through like, okay, this here's what's happening. I'm a smack him too. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For real, for real. And it ain't about um, you know, us being abusive or nothing like that. No. It's about teaching these kids respect and it all starts in the home. Yeah. Anytime you got a child saying, You ain't my mama, I know exactly who I am. I know I ain't your daddy, I know I ain't your right. mama. You know what I'm saying? But obviously your mama lets you get away with this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why they scream that. So, in any event, and just one lesson that I learned, man, when I was young, man, when I was in, I want to say, maybe the third grade, I did an essay on Dr. Martin Luther King. Notice I said Dr. Martin Luther King. She taught me the hard way. I, I was writing, 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 and then she said, come here for a second, when I gave her my essay, and I knew it was the bomb, too. I knew it was fire. Right. <laughs> hey, check it out, man. I, I, she was like, come I'm like, okay, yeah, she finna give me what I got coming. Right. So I get up there, and she was like, hold your hand out. I'm like, hold my hand out. Okay. And swat, with, you know, with the, with the, yeah, what's the name, yeah, yeah. with the fiberglass paddle. I break my head back like, what? She was like, don't you ever in your life say Dr. King again. You address him as Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm. From that day to this one, I've been saying Dr. Martin Luther King. I ain't What's said up? Dr. Martin. I ain't said Dr. Luther. Right, Dr. I ain't King. said a lot. I ain't said Luther <laughs> King. I said Dr. Martin Luther King. And I wasn't mad at her. You know what right. I'm saying? I feel Respect. that she did what she's supposed to have. She did. was she was teaching you something. Exactly. You, you know. And you don't have teachers that do that right now. No. And honestly, it, it is because of the parents. Touch my child. I blah blah blah. But you the reason why your child like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In real life. And you know what? You know what? And I, and at the same time, I understand where these teachers coming from. They underpaid. Yeah. They underappreciated. They is just they get and then you got kids that do come to school that do have good homes. Yeah. Come mama bust they ass, daddy bust they ass again what they want and they come to school and, and they still on that trash. Up. Yeah. Still so on guess trash. what? If I'm a teacher and I'm already getting fucked by this system right. that's supposed to be paying me for me, you know, up bringing these kids up. Right. You know what? All right, little, little Dante don't want to do his homework. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. I ain't going to fuck with him. i got 40 other kids. And then that's another thing. The classes are overcrowded. Yeah. The work is outdated. Dang, you, the right. books, the material is outdated. That shit from 1978, nigga. Wow. You go out here to these suburbs, they shit is updated. Listen, I've been out here to these uh, suburban schools with my job, you know, um, and they shit is high tech. Right. They got the flat screen TVs on the wall. They got the good ass lunch. You feel me? When my son said he came home, when my son came home one day and he said that, uh, this was from a few years back, that I said, what y'all have for lunch? Because I used to ask them that every time they come in the house. So what was for lunch? How was your day? We do whoa. Oh uh, man, we had a, a a cheese, two cheese sticks, and uh and, and some sticks. yeah and some pasta and a milk. I said that's it. Really? Jeez. So so what what is that saying to y'all? What is that saying to the parents out there? What what are what are they saying about your kids? How this is how they feel about your kids? Here, give them these scraps. Cause that's how they feel anyway. We animals, right? Okay. And, and it all starts at home. Yeah, school is cool. A one. I love school. You know, I I was a honor roll student in high school and shit like that. So I started wilding out. But right. you know, whatever. But you know, kids go through that. But yeah, right. it starts at home. So yeah, the kids, the teachers that teach my kids or whatever, they come home with the work. Right. But at the same time, here go my interpretation. 
here's what else you need to know on top of what they're teaching you. Right. Look deeper into that. Don't just look at what they're giving you. Because this is just one surface of it. Right. Go deeper into what this is. Right. Find out, really understand it. Don't just take it for what they're giving you and run with it like it's right. Go deeper into that. Truth. That's no. true. That's true. Okay. Okay. Well, y'all just heard it, man. Me and my man Buck just chopped up a little bit on um, the educational system for sure. So, in any event, man, that has that was our that was our wrap up. If y'all got anything to say, y'all know what to do, man. Comment below. Holler at your boy, man. It's been another edition, man. Uh, no chill, no filter TV. No chill, no filter TV. For Shout sure. out to my big bro Ron. You already body know. Gang, body gang, body gang. Body gang. gang. I'ma keep saying it until I'm slain, man. For real, get in tune though, man. For hey, sure. we got something for y'all. It's coming up, man. We got a lot of things coming up, man. Stay in tune. You feel me? Yeah, I done put my business leg up. Now <laughs> I'm on business. Let me talk to you, let's nigga. Go, let's 100. go. Yo, shout out again to my man Ron. Get it. For sure, for sure, man. Thanks for coming through, brother. You already know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anytime. So, anytime. It's been MC Ryan Ski, the OG, aka Big Ryan 357. It's been another edition of No Chill, No Filter TV. Holla at your boy. Like I said, man, you already know the reason why I say stay upset is because. Your feelings, <laughs> Get up out of here with that man. We, blah, 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 we, blah, blah, we up blah, blah, here blah. on real man time, okay? If you ain't on real folk time, man, you might as well just tune out. And this shit so right in here is kicking right now. <laughs> Thank you. I ain't gonna tell you what it is. You don't need to know what it is. No, I don't need to know what it is. They, they ain't paying me. So in any event, <laughs> until next time, stay upset. Peace. So yeah.